I love using compost. In my book, it's the single most important soil amendment you can add to your lawn or your garden or anywhere in your landscape. But what I really love is that you can make it for free. So not only is the price right, but you know exactly about the ingredients going into your compost pile. Now here's the downside. Most of us can't make as much compost as we'd like to have over a season or two. Even here at the garden farm where I'm adding inputs all the time, I don't even have enough to put into my garden and all the places around my landscape that I'd like. Now, there's a reasonable solution for that. You could buy it by the bag, but unless you only need a few bags, that can get pretty expensive pretty quickly. Plus, unlike the compost that you make at home, how do you really know about the ingredients going into those bags that you buy at the store? Well, in a lot of cases, you don't. And for me, that's a real problem. Now, fortunately, there's a solution for that, and it's a good one. The U.S. Composting Council created a seal of testing assurance program, known as STA Compost, a while back to address these very concerns. Basically, it's a compost testing, labeling, and information disclosure program designed to give us the information we need to compare compost products and to get the maximum benefit from the use of compost as determined through a consensus of many of the leading compost research scientists in the U.S. The assessments include a predefined program of physical, chemical, and biological tests that could be performed by a group of independent certified labs across the country and in Canada. Compost manufacturers like this one can enroll in the program through the U.S. Composting Council. If accepted, they're required to regularly submit samples to an approved lab for testing their compost products. So naturally, it's in the best interest of the manufacturer to know what's coming in from their feedstock since detection of unacceptable material or levels can prevent the STA certification approval. When a sample comes into the lab for testing, it will be analyzed for a number of properties, including pH, soluble salts, nutrients, organic matter, pathogens, and trace metals. These are all important factors in determining what goes into your garden soil. But first and foremost, the compost has to be safe for use. Two very unique tests included in the STA program are compost stability and seedling growth test. These really indicate when the compost is finished, mature, and ready to use. And only when the compost sample passes the rigid criteria for acceptance can the product have the right to use the STA program logo in their promotional materials. And that's what I do anytime I'm adding compost to my landscape or garden that I don't make myself. So how do you find it? The U.S. Composting Council has a compost locator map on their website to make that job easy to find by the bag or bulk. Chances are there's a location near you. And if you care to see the details, STA compost manufacturers are required to have current analysis information wherever products are sold. Just ask for it. For my money, buying in bulk offers a significant savings over bags. For example, one cubic yard of compost, about half a pickup truck load, that's what this is, is equal to roughly 27 bags of compost. And then again, you could always order enough compost to have it delivered because you never run out of the many uses for compost. No matter where you live or the type of grass that you have, there are some really important steps that you need to take when your lawn is actively growing. Now, if you have a cool season grass like I do, fall is the ideal time for that. But alternatively, if you have a warm season grass, then late spring or early summer is a good time for those duties. When it comes to having a great looking lawn, at some point in the year, you'll need to provide some intervention to keep it looking its best. In fact, that's how the best looking lawns in the neighborhood get that way. Now, no matter what type of grass you have, our goal is always the same, to create the best, healthiest growing environment for our lawns to thrive. And that always starts and ends with improving the soil. And for me, that means a generous top dressing of certified compost. No matter where you live, it's the most readily available, economical, stabilized form of organic matter on the market today. And it's all about the organic matter that brings life to any soil. But before we top dress, we want to do all we can to maximize the benefit of those compost applications. 
And while a little bit goes a long way, we want to use every drop. So there are a few important steps that we need to do ahead of time to pave the way. While I'm a firm believer of mowing at the top of the grass's preferred range, this is the one time you actually cut lower than normal. By cutting low, you have greater access to the soil and the next steps in the process. Once you mow, rake out the thatch or dead grass and debris and remove it from your lawn. Since we're going to be adding grass seed and certified compost to the soil surface, we want as few barriers to soil contact as possible. Now that we have a freshly low mowed clean slate, rent a core aerator to open up the soil surface. The aerator harmlessly removes plugs of soil, creating space for air and water to go and grass roots to expand. The open spaces also catch a lot of the grass seed that I add next. And the same for the star of the show, that all important organic matter, certified compost in this case. Depending on the size of your project, you can have it delivered in bulk, like I do, or you can even have it spread for you by a contractor or landscape service. Here, I use a spreader commonly known as a manure spreader. What's not so commonly known is that it works great for spreading compost, too. Or you can simply load it into a wheelbarrow or cart and distribute it by the shovelful. The key is just to strive for even coverage over your lawn of about half an inch. For me, certified compost is my hands-down, not-so-secret ingredient for the year-round success of my lawn. Organic gardener or not, it's my recommended fertilizer and soil amendment of choice. It does more than any store-bought synthetic fertilizer can offer. In addition to providing important nutrients, compost feeds the soil in a way that has lasting benefits, much like eating a diet of whole foods and fruits and vegetables does for our health versus a junk food diet. Both options will satisfy our hunger cravings temporarily, but only one sustains us and improves our health for the long haul. That's what compost does for our lawns and gardens. It contains important nutrients that aren't found in man-made fertilizers and releases them slowly as needed by plant roots. Specifically, applied to a lawn as a top dressing, certified compost also helps soil drain better while absorbing moisture like a sponge making it available when your grass needs it. Accordingly, roots grow deeper. That combination makes for significantly better drought tolerance, naturally. And that's a very important benefit of using compost. Even here in these hot, dry Georgia summers, I rarely water, yet I still have a great looking lawn. The key is the improved soil that compost makes, resulting in deeper roots, which makes taller grass shoots. That means more grass to shade out competing weeds plus more grass surface to absorb all that good the sun has to offer. In fact, the best natural weed control for any lawn is healthy grass, so less herbicides are needed as well. And if that weren't enough, compost has proven disease-fighting properties too. Growing a Greener World is a series that travels the country telling the stories and celebrating people, places, and organizations doing great things for the planet, but with an emphasis on gardening. Organic matter is essential for building soil health. We have these beautiful, fresh potatoes right from the earth, but how do you store them properly? And what's great about the freezer is that it preserves the flavor and the nutrition. With the floor in, we could move on to the wall frames, and we used four by four posts. It's really nice to know that in nature, plants, their only mission is to propagate. So now it's time to fill the raised beds. It's hard work, but it's progress. <laughs> 